Let's start with the information as we have it, Kmart. What is your sense of whether or not we will see Jalen Hurts on Sunday? It's, a, it's really unclear right now. And the way Nick Sirianni is talking about it is he was this close. So the inclination is, okay, well, he was this close. We're going to see him this weekend. If we don't see Jalen Hurts, like, at practice again, on the field, you're going to know that he was really never that close. Mm -hmm. um, and that, to me, is what would be concerning. Because as much as Dominique wants to poo-poo momentum, I do think there's a reality to it. I do think this team playing without their quarterback and some of the issues we've seen offensively, I think you, you do need to have Jalen Hurts healthy on the field as they go into the postseason. All right, so this one to me is the diametric opposite of the previous one. This one you are playing for the one seed, win and you control it. So this one I think you do treat like a playoff game. I think unless Jalen Hurts is just too hurt to play, yeah. I think you well, play him and everybody else. It's hard for me to believe that he's too hurt to play because he finished the game that he was hurt in. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think Jalen Hurts does play in this game because they need to win this game. And I'm sure he's pushing to play. Mm -hmm. And I think that Nick Sirianni said all the right things, mm -hmm. like the health comes first. Mm -hmm. nah, no, homie. Bro, no. <laughs> he's going out there to play. The scary thing about the Jalen Hurts situation to me is not the type of player he'll be, but the type of game that they'll call mm -hmm. because right. they're going to be careful with him and they're probably going to take a lot of the design quarterback runs out of the offense, and that's a big part of their offense. So it's not just for this week, but it's for their run through the playoffs. Without Lane Johnson and without a dynamic running threat at quarterback, this team is not the favorites that they were a few weeks ago. How about it, though? As far as this weekend is concerned, Chris, do you treat this like a playoff game? Do you suit him up if he can go at all? Yeah, you have to because based on the season that they've had, they should have championship aspirations. Mm -hmm. And it's always better to be one of four teams in your conference that has a chance to go rather than one of seven. And that's exactly what happens when you get the one seed mm -hmm. because that's a win in the wild card weekend because you don't play until the divisional round and you have home field throughout. So when you look at the landscape of the NFC, the teams that we think are contenders, the Dallas Cowboys, the San Francisco 49ers, you'd much rather have those games in your building. And you also want to have Jalen Hurts be show that he can be the threat that we've seen throughout the majority of the season because if he can't be a focal point in the running game as well as that dynamic passer, that changes how you defend that Philadelphia Eagles offense. And Nick just kind of changed up my thought, so I want to ask you this question, D. Wood, just from a bigger perspective. It's one thing for him to play. It's another thing for him to be able to do everything that he generally does, and that means a lot more than just throwing the football. Mm -hmm. If he can't be that, I'm not talking about Sunday against the Giants, can this team win the Super Bowl, which is the only successful outcome to the season they've had, if he isn't at his dynamic best? I don't think so. I, I think you, we've seen it. Look at their offense now mm. without Jalen Hurts in there. It ain't the system. It's not the system. <laughs> the system. That's right. Like Jalen Hurts bring a to he brings a totally different dynamic to the offense. I always say when you got a running quarterback, now you're playing 11 on 11. Mm -hmm. It's a totally different ball game than a quarterback, just a, a, tra a traditional drop back quarterback. That's the element he brings to the Philadelphia Eagles. And on top of that, like – they need the number one seed in the worst way, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. They need guys healthy. If they're not healthy, they're not winning it. I didn't mean to interrupt Pastor Wood. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Pastor Wood but, but the first lady of the congregation yeah. had something to say. Do, we're looking at a 49ers team that is literally on their third quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. And we are saying the Eagles, who we have said are the best team in the NFL for a long time. We've said this most of the season. Now, if, if Gardner Minch, like, they desperately need Jalen Hurts to play in week 18 or else I don't know what's going to happen to them. That, to me, is troubling. Hmm. Because how, like, I feel like that brings into question. No, no, no. no the, but I think, the but I think are when you, the, 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 the anomaly. The yeah. anomaly in this situation. Yeah. So. I think because it's so much of it is Kyle Shanahan. Right. Like, Kyle Shanahan basically, like, I think Kyle, the four, Kyle Shanahan and the 49ers are pretty much like unlike any other team. They literally say, like, we don't need a superstar quarterback. We can plug guys in and just – just operate the system. They yeah. sure and you'll be one, good. No. They sure want one. Oh, yeah. That's why they oh, trade well, everything, well, everything yeah. they had to get Oh, one. there's no question. But listen, you bring it in. Yeah. Jimmy G, Brock Purdy, those guys Nick coming Mullins. in. They, Nick Mullins. Nick yeah, Mullins. Those Nick guys Mullins. coming in operating the system. A lot of it's Kyle Shanahan. A lot of it's Nicky Bosa, too. And, and, <laughs> that's right. And, you know, I mean, the, the Eagles just won a Super Bowl with Nick Foles as their quarterback. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.